In this video, you're going to learn how to solve a quadratic equation that has complex solutions and express the zeros in the form of a plus or minus b times i. There are several ways to solve a quadratic equation. For instance, you can solve by factoring or completing the square. It would be time consuming to factor a quadratic with complex solutions just by guessing at the complex factors. Completing the square to find the zeros is the better method. When completing the square, the goal is to write the quadratic equation in the form of x plus some constant a all to the power of 2 equals some number b. Once the equation is in this form, you can then take the square root of both sides in order to identify the zeros. Start by moving the constant to one side of the equation then, divide every term by the coefficient of the squared term. Here, since the coefficient is 1, nothing will change. Now, consider the coefficient of the first degree term. Find half of this coefficient and then square that value. The result is 1. The next step is to add this value to both sides of the equation. Now, as you can see, the left side of the equation can be written as the square of a binomial. From here, you're ready to take the square root of both sides. The square root of negative 5 has to be written in terms of the imaginary number i. Since i equals the square root of negative 1, the square root of negative 5 is i times the square root of 5. Now you can find the two solutions by solving for x. Now you know more about how to find the zeros of a quadratic equation with complex solutions. Thanks for watching.